Welcome to Barbecue Food for You, the Backyard Barbecue Show. Today is video number four in the Barbecue Pizza series. If you missed the first three videos, be sure to go check them out. Today, showing everyone a simple, easy, and delicious way to make calzones on your barbecue. Let's get started. <laughs> To make calzones you can use several different types of dough. This is Meathead's Roman style no need recipe that was in video 3. If you want to see the full instructions on how to make it, just go back and watch that video. Start with a piece of dough around a softball size, sprinkle down some flour and on the top and dust your rolling pin. Roll that out so it's nice and round and a quarter inch thick. Once you have your dough rolled out nice and thin, you want to ensure there's no pizza bubbles in the calzone. The pies, I don't mind too much. I call this the bubble breaker. Just go over it. If you don't have one of these, you can just pierce it with a few holes using a fork. Now it's time to get the calzone together. This is the great part. You can use any type of toppings that you like to taste. I got mozzarella cheese, red onions I grilled up, same with sweet red peppers. Uh, sun-dried tomatoes, pepperoni, honey ham, and a little bit of sauce. Take your pie, just draw a line down the middle, start making it on one half, leaving about an inch and a half on the outside edge. Start with the cheese and your toppings. Give it a good coat. Once you have a good layer of your favorite toppings on one side, take the sauce, place it in the middle. Take a little bit of water, dip your fingers in, and just wet the edges all the way around the pizza dough. Then just take the one side of the dough, fold it over, matching up the edges, start at the corner, and just start kneading it together. Take the calzone, place it on a piece of parchment paper, and just cut out around it, even about an inch or so. Now just slide them onto a cutting board, we'll go get them on the barbecue. Set up your barbecue for two zone indirect cooking. Just means coals on one side, get it preheated to 450 degrees, and we'll get these calzones on. Using the parchment paper makes it real easy to get them on the grill. Place them both on with the thicker part of the crust on the outside of the barbecue. Shut the lid, let them cook for around two minutes, and then we'll pull the parchment paper out. After two minutes, crack open the lid. You can see the dough's already started setting up, and the parchment paper ensures that it doesn't stick all to your gray. Just get under it. Slide the parchment paper out. After 10 minutes, take a peek. Make sure everything's cooking nice and even. Now the dough's really starting to set up, making it easy to move around. So give it a flip. Put the lid back on, let them keep cooking. Calzones have been on for 20 minutes and it smells great. To finish them off, we're going to move them over direct heat to get a nice crispy crust on the outside. Pop the lid and take a peek. Looking good. Now just to finish them off, move them over the coals and keep a close eye on it. Flipping it every minute or so until it's nice and golden brown. After around a minute, give it a quick flip. Again, another minute or so, keep a close eye on it, because you can burn it real quick. <laughs> another minute, give it a flip. Look at that. It's almost done. Time to get this one off. Slide the next one over the direct heat. Keep a close eye on it. Nice hot calzone fresh off the barbecue. Be sure to let it cool down for at least five minutes because the inside is extremely hot. Let's cut it in the big one, right down the middle, see how it all looks. The crust is nice and crispy. 
check that out. Cheese all nice and melted. Still piping hot. Give it a couple minutes before I bite into it. Whew. Barbecue calzones hot off the grill. This is a great recipe for everyone to try at home. You can add any toppings that you like to taste and it can be done on any barbecue. Please share this video with your family and friends because it's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Mmm.